What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here and today we're going to be taking a look at some new arrivals and some things coming soon to E-Knives. We haven't done this in a while. You guys might notice something different about today's video and that's the fact that you can actually see my face. I've got my laptop dual cam and mic and everything set up which is something I should have done years ago but for some reason I'm just now doing it so really happy. Um, but uh, if you don't want to hear the sound of my voice and you don't want to look at my face that's perfectly understandable. I will link this page and all of the pages I'm going to talk about right down in the description for your convenience. You can check it out on your own if you want to. It does help my channel when you use those links, but that's entirely up to you. Thanks to my patrons for supporting me and please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. I was looking for my card. <laughs> I was going to show it backwards in the camera. All right, E-Knives. We haven't taken a look at anything from E-Knives for a while. We're going to do new arrivals first. Um... In just a moment. <laughs> there we go. I had to actually click on it. Okay. All right. New arrivals. Yeah. Uh, mm, I, I'm kind of interested in this $375 buck knife. And when I say interested, I mean curious. A little, little bit of uh, to take it with a grain of salt there. Okay. S45VN made in the USA, eight and a quarter inches. At this point, <laughs> I trust a $375 buck knife much more than I trust a $375 James Brand knife. I'm, I'm, I just do, right? Kind of cool though with the uh, the copper colored button and the copper uh, switch there. I don't know how I feel about the finish. It's okay. It's all right. Carbon fiber. Okay. Yeah, uh, eight and a quarter inches made in the USA. I mean, uh, I I don't know. It's kind of cool. I mean, it's not, it's, it's kind of cool. I, I think it might be a tad pricey for sure. All right, moving on here. Let's see what else we've got. We've got the Nottingham Tactical and Chad Nichols Fixed Blade Titanium Mil... The handle's titanium? All right, we got to look at this. It's a pretty good-looking fixed blade, I'm going to be honest with you. PD1 DLC. PD1 DLC? What is... What's PD1 DLC? 13 and a quarter inches. PD1 Black DLC. Excuse me one moment. Just realizing I didn't finish my coffee. Uh, okay. But what's the blade steel? The handle's titanium milled. It's hollowed out. It's got a compass on it. Okay. Well, I have no idea what the blade steel is. $1,000 custom fixed blade. Uh, moving on here. We've got the Buck 110 Auto Elite. Oh my goodness. They actually have a shortcut here. I very much doubt that this will sit here very long, and I know everybody's thinking the same thing. $545 for a box cutter. Yes. Uh, the moment that people realize those are there, they'll be gone. Um, it's not so much that they just don't know that you can go to Home Depot and get a box cutter. They know. They want the hawk. They want the hawkness, right? I have one of these. It's pretty... Actually... Where are you? It's, I have one somewhere. <laughs> it's not a good thing to have lost. It's, it's there. I know that it is because I just used it. It's pretty cool. You have to really, really love Hawk. Not necessarily going to be um, utility knife enthusiast buying that thing. It's going to be Hawk enthusiast specifically. Um, I don't agree with the price tag completely, but it is custom made, right? Blah, blah, blah. There's a certain uh, a percentage of that price that is justified, I think for, you know, people looking for specifically that type of thing. But I do think you're paying a little bit for the hawkness, for sure. I think that's kind of obvious. Ah, uh, Chris Reeves, small heretic manticore. Man, the her the manticore and the... No, I was about to say that the manticore looks like the um, the live wire, but I don't, I don't know that that's true. Chavez Knives Scapegoat. That's actually, wait a second. That's a three and a half inch knife? Hold on. Coming soon. Ooh, I actually, I actually really like how that looks. The Scapegoat Street Titanium Frame Lock. 7.75 inches with a 3.5 inch M390 blade. 6 ounces. Produced by Riot. Kind of like the look of that. It comes with two pocket clips. So you guys, everybody who wants to cry their pants over this thing right here. Look, there's another pocket clip right there. You don't have to cry. You got another pocket clip right there. You can cry if you want to. That's fine. In the words of whoever sang that song. 
Uh, we have uh, amphibians. I'm not really interested in the serrated ones. Show me Microtech. Not that they're watching. Boy, the internet is chugging along today. If you didn't know, I live in Kansas, so there's your indicator. Uh, I want to see the bronze finish that you guys do or have done in the past. It's just like a heated steel finish, right? It's not actually a coating. But you've done it on countless OTFs, and you did that. There was I still would like to pick up a bronze stitch. Uh, I they, they've done the Microtech SOCOM Elite in bronze. I have a Direct Delta in bronze. Bronze blades, please. That would be so cool. The two tone, fine. You know, whatever. Not my cup of tea. There's a, an OD Green fluted G10 stitch sitting there. Definitely uh, worth picking up. There's the SOCOM Elite Manual in Apocalyptic, which is very similar to the one I have. That is a super recommendable USA-made knife. Uh, you will not be disappointed with that. The only problem with the SOCOM Elites is that they are tip down only, which is... Oh, no, wait. Have they changed? No, they haven't. They just... Why does that look different than mine? Hold on. Let's get back in here. No, that's still the same. I just really wish that they had a mounting position up here. Even if it had to be, you know, not super duper deep carry, I think that's fine. I just don't understand why they won't just give us two more holes, right? Boy, the internet today. I wonder if it's my internet. The internet wasn't acting like this. Maybe it's just eKnives website. SMF XL Titanium Striped Digicam Flats. Cool looking knife. Not sure I want to pay $2,200 for it, but... If you're a big strider, that looks like a, is that a performance series or a custom? I'm not really sure. What is this? Flex beads? Okay. Eh, some Medfords. Not really into those. Not that, you know, I mean, show me the right Medford and sure, but it's just nothing. It's like I always say when I do these videos, there's nothing that's come along with it. Ah, okay. The Benchmade Narrows for $540 in DLC. So, uh, we're all going to say this together. I can almost hear, right, in unison, everybody singing this, just like a, like, like a choir. Benchmade knives are overpriced. The Benchmade narrows is overpriced. It is, yes. But I got to admit, I do think it looks cool. I think it's ridiculous that they put this pocket clip on it. I admittedly, that is my favorite, you know, user pocket clip from Benchmade, but it does not belong in a $540 knife. I think Tri-State just did something on Instagram talking about trends that need to go away. There needs to be a certain price point where, I mean, yeah, I mean, okay, sometimes it makes a little bit more functional, right? But we've all seen, it's not like, you know, milled clips are just pretty and they're, they can't be as functional as stamp clips and stamp clips are, util it's, it's not that black and white. Uh, we've had companies show that uh, a milled clip can function just as well as a utilitarian stamped clip, right? This is just being cheap. This is just taking a clip that works for a bunch of different knives in their line and just throwing it on there, right? I mean, that's the first thing that needs to happen with this price tag. Uh, yes, it's a full titanium knife that's made in the United States. A lot of people are not going to turn their, their brain on to steal a line from Charlie uh, they're going to drink their stupid potions and say that this should cost $200. No, this definitely is going to be a knife that's going to be expensive, right? Uh, I mean, I, do I think like, you know, maybe a $385 to $400 price tag would be fair? Yeah, I do. I honestly do. Um, you know, USA manufacturing is ridiculously expensive. And on, on top of that, we have titanium, we've got M390, and we've got um, really good machine work. Benchmade, I think, does a pretty good job. Most of the time, I know they have a few hiccups here and there. But then we have a real DLC on this. No matter how anybody tries to explain this, this is an expensive thing to create. Even if Benchmade is a company that's big enough to operate on volume, it's still, it's still an expensive thing to create, right? So, I don't think $540 is justified, but would I pick it up for $400? I'd think about it, right? It honestly is really cool. And I know that I keep saying I'm going to review it. Um, hey, listen, if you've got it, if, if you're watching this right now and you'd loan me your narrows to review it for everybody on the channel, let me know. Metalcomplex87 at gmail.com. I would love to look at that knife. Definitely. I'm not, I don't think Benchmade wants to send me one. 
Um, I like uh, the people that I've talked with at Benchmade are super nice. I but you know they they probably don't want to send me one. Uh, let's see, let's see. Ooh, Combat Troid on Gen Three in Two Tone. Give me an all black blade on that one. Two Tone's fine. People want the all black blades. I think Microtech knows that. They gotta wait and figure out you know how to do a, a signature series so they can charge us more. I point that out as the owner of multiple signature series knives that I definitely paid more for. So I'm trying to sound like I know better, but I am an absolute hypocrite. Uh, Microtech Glycon, definitely still one of the best looking OTFs on the market. Oh, they got a uh, Protec Malibu sitting right there in Magna Cut DLC. That's pretty cool. Sitting right there for 260 bucks. I don't think that's necessarily a bad price. I wish those were a little lower, but then again, I wish everything that was made in the United States was a little lower. Protech still holding on. Uh, if you guys watched my video from earlier today, you'll know that I ranked, you know, a bunch of, uh, I did like a, a tier list. I would very much love to do um, what Pete did from Cedric and Ada and do a bench, a, I'm sorry, a knife company tier list just based on, you know, how good I feel like they're doing all the way around models, uh, their pricing, quality control. I would love to do a tier list. I think maybe uh, it would be fun to do American Knife Company, American Production Knife Company tier list. Um, but I'm open to any tier list because that was really fun to do. And now now it'll be much easier to set up. Sorry, I'm just looking for something that catches my eye. Ultratech Hellhound OTF Automatic Knife DLC Shadow. Pretty cool. Not sure I want to spend $600 on an Ultratech, but if that's your dream, Ultratech, Ultra it's sitting right there. And these Shadow Editions have absolutely nothing on the blade. I mean, I think they just have the signature on the pocket clip, and that's pretty much it. Spartan Blades. Spartan Blades, those are really good knives. Excellent knives. That Nottingham Tactical Pen is actually really cool. I'm not a pen guy. I just want to look at the texturing. Oh, boy, that's real nice. Look at that. Oh, boy, look at this. I'm a big fan of that. Ooh, man, that is cool. I like that, yeah. Not enough to buy it, but I do like to look at it. Uh, the purpose behind, the, behind these videos is I realized I was doing this so often, I might as well record and talk about it if you're joining me for the first time. This is a knife we talked about last time, the Riot PLXT. It is absolutely worth picking up. Absolutely worth picking up. Pick the one you like, pick it up. It operates via the pivot. The pivot is the actual release for the lock and it is not a typical plunge lock. They have their own weird proprietary system in there. Um, and then the sliding lock on the frame, a lot of people roll their eyes on that. That is very necessary considering when you choke up on the knife, your index finger, if you're right-handed, lands exactly on the thing that disengages the lock. So by sliding that safety lock up, you prevent accidental disengagement while you're using the knife, which is actually very well thought out. Um, I'm a huge fan of this. I haven't reviewed it yet, but you know, if you want to take away something from today, I'm not going to jam any of these $500 knives down your throat. You buy what you want, but if you're going to buy something off of this video, I really would recommend, you know, 115 bucks for the PLXT. I honestly think is very fair, considering it's made by Riot and the quality shows through. It's so good. Huge, huge fan. Huge fan. I don't know anything about Squid Industries. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. We got to go back. Oh, my God. The internet is so bad. Or maybe, again, it might be Eni's website. This has a smiley face on it. The Squiddy? Is it a practice? Is it a trainer? Oh, look. <laughs> Does his face speak in through? <laughs> Oh, God, that's funny. Okay, where are these made? Oh, they're made in the USA. Really? Okay. Aluminum, and the blade is polymer. Ha! That's funny. I can't, that, that's, if I was going to buy a ballast song, that, right, if I was going to buy one today, it'd be that one right there, just because it's got a smiley face on it. That's funny, I almost missed that. Okay. Uh, still very curious about the Guardian Tactical Scout. It just seems like a slimmer Recon 35. And the Recon 35 is one of the best uh, double action OTFs on the market, for sure. So if it operates like the Recon 35 and it's just slimmer for 270, that's pretty competitive. For a real USA OTF, please. There are so many people confused about what they're buying when it comes to a real USA OTF, please. 
don't be don't be fooled by companies claiming like yeah yeah ours is made in the usa that'll be a hundred dollars don't please don't do that so many people swear by those companies you guys know who those companies are don't buy stuff from those companies it's just rebranded from ally express they're old microtech clones they're just rebranded come on now come on all right we got the sure grow off quantum ursus in blue yeah, I'm gonna keep going. We're gonna probably go to page 15 here before we check out some restocks. Come on now, here we go. All right. Ooh, direct delta shadow. That is sick. Very cool. Hold on, let's take a look at that. Kind of tempted by that one. I gotta. I'm in a. I'm actually doing a little bit of shopping myself right now. I have my um, budget and some some other funds that I've put together. And I have not bought anything for the channel for this month. If you didn't know, I do that. This channel has a budget and I buy things and turn them into content. Try to buy interesting things. I don't know that I can justify just a di another Direct Delta that's black, but it is very cool. And considering I own a, um, a shadow version of the uh, Scarab and they do a nice satin finish on those shadow versions. I also own a shadow version of the Stitch, very cool. So if it looks a little lackluster in the picture, just know it's got some shine to it. It's pretty nice. Let's go one more page here and then we're gonna go back to restocks real quick. Real nice uh, bronze and titanium custom Harzi for, that's one of the coolest, um, like, I got to hand it to Spartan here because this is, I'll give you guys an example. Like if you're going to spend $500 on an American, um, I would classify this as a mid tech. Oh, that no wonder. I was like, wow, that's like an incredible price. It's the smaller one, but still that's Chad Nichols Damascus. If you're not familiar with Chad Nichols Damascus, that's not just, oh yeah, it's Damascus, but it's from Chad. It's got, it's got Chad Nichols name. No, go to his website and check out what he does. That's super premium Damascus. Uh, I love the bronze hardware. I love the bronze thumb stud. And I love the contrast with the uh, tumbled titanium frame. I think that looks really good. If that knife, that knife in a full size version, I mean, honestly, from Spartan, it's probably a little over six. Um, not a bad price considering, you know, what you're getting there. Because, for example, a full titanium Hinder XM18 three and a half inch with no Chad Nichols Damascus is going to run you about 625 bucks. So, not bad. Uh, Spider Co. What do we got? We we don't have pictures? We don't have pictures of the Spider Co? Huh? Hmm. Hmm. Why not? Wakita Gayuto. Wakita Gayuto. Is that how you pronounce it? Wakita Gayuto. I have no idea. All right, let's go to, we're going to go back to the e-knives page and we're going to go to restocks here real quick. Find out what we've got restocked. Sometimes you can find hidden treasures on restocks, but it's like I always say when we do e-knives, they show their restocks like, I mean, I, get, I always forget this. They show their restocks when you when you are going through like the new arrivals, right? Sometimes I guess you can skip that and just have it automatically sorted. So we've already looked at all these. Okay, uh, if you've never shopped at eKnives, it's definitely worth um, checking them out. Uh, they carry a lot of U.S. stuff. Sometimes you can find eKnives is where I go when I'm looking for a Microtech that I wouldn't normally see on um, Knife Center, Blade HQ, DLT. Um, places like that. E-Knives seems to carry um, more of the, the weird stuff or you're more likely to find um, something a little bit different at E-Knives uh, along with a lot of other you know variations of um, American-made knives as you saw. So please check out those links in the description. E-Knives is definitely worth um, your time. That's going to be pretty much it today, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you think about um, doing these where you can see me. Um, I think it, it's a little bit more interactive and I've always wanted to do it slowly. You'll see more content where I'm doing stuff like this, mostly the rank, anything that I can do that's screen recorded, um, to make it a little bit more fun. But this, <laughs> well, it seems like I'm just now reaching 2012 YouTube. 
This is a little bit of an evolutionary step and we're just doing simple stuff right now, but I plan to do things that are a little more complicated in the future. So that's going to be pretty much it today, guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. Please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do, of course, have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like. So check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on that Metal Complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a great day.